This year we are presenting the global sparkling wine market as the OIV focus after five years of study uh, and it covers different lengths and we are going to see here how um, the evolution from 2002 till 2018 goes up to 20 million hectoliters with an increase of uh, 57%. Uh, it's an important increase. And the top sparkling wine producers are presented here. It is worth noting the impressive growth between 2008 and 2018 in Italy and you have a 9% year increase, followed by Spain and the United States, both at a rate of 4% of our in average. With regard to consumption, the total sparkling wine consumed in the world reached 19 uh, million hectoliters in 2018, marking uh, plus 61% with respect to 2002. In terms of the relative weight of sparkling wines, in overall wine consumption, while in 2002 it was 5%. In 2018, sparkling wines represented 8% of the total wine. Uh, so the increase is also relative to the global uh, volume of wine. Uh, five, five countries, Germany, France, the USA, Russia, and Italy represent more than 60% of the global sparkling wine consumption. Among the largest consuming countries in the upper graph, you have the USA, Italy, and the United Kingdom registered here the highest average growth rate over the period that goes between 2008 and 2018. In the lower graph are the main emerging consuming countries that in the last time, uh, with another scale, um, the last 10 to 15 years significantly, significantly expanded their internal sparkling wine market. The international traded volumes of sparkling wine increased by 155% since 2002, so that was triplicated, reaching 8.9 million hectoliters in 2018, which represent 9% of total wine exported worldwide. With respect to the export value, sparkling wine accounts for 6.2 billion euros, uh, and this is an important share, 20% share of the total wine export value. In this uh, slide, we briefly analyzed the impact of the economic crisis of 2008 and how it shaped the sparkling wine market. In 2009, the crisis hit severely the category of premium sparkling wines, which explains the decrease in value shown in the first graph up uh, the upper part, and at the same time it favored the entrance of the international markets of the lower end sparkling wines, which explains why volumes were much less affected by the crisis. So if you see the graph, and also it's interesting now that we are uh, seeing that we are going to go into another crisis. So if you see that the graph is, you, you have the level of um, the index of 100 and then you have a separation in 2008 and 2009 of the two lines. Uh, the index of vo volume continues and the, the index of value um, separates, uh, offering a lower price, of course, and then both lines go in parallel. So that means that the structure of the offer has not changed. Um, the, the impact of uh, sparkling wines is, was bigger, as you see in the lower graph, than in bottled steeled wine. In bottled steel wine. In this slide, 
uh, are the main sparkling wine exporters. Three countries, Italy, France, and Spain, represent 85% of the world export volume at 84% of the export value. And the 84% of the export value of sparkling wine in 2018. Italian exports of sparkling wine accounts for 43% of the total volume traded in the world, whereas France accounts for 52% of the total value traded. And the last slide, it's on sparkling wine deals with the main importers. The top three by volume are the UK, the USA and Germany, while by value you can see it's USA, UK and Japan with important increases in those 10 years. Thank you very much for your attention.